Welcome back to KHOU 11 Morning News. As we know, life in Houston can be really beautiful with scenes like this around the city, but the beautiful scenery has a hidden irritation. That's right. We're talking about allergies, and if you haven't suffered from them, well, consider yourself like lucky. Very lucky. But are there plants you can use to spice up the landscaping without irritating the allergies? We found, we sent Cheetah to find out. They're pretty, can smell great, and often they're full of pollen and other allergens that can leave us sniffling and sneezing. <laughs> but what if there were flowers, shrubs, or beautiful plants that could help ease your allergies? Certified arborist Kurt Smith helps. Let me set the record straight. Most of the allergies that we suffer from come from the, the larger trees, in particular live oaks. The tree down the street, the tree across the street is most likely going to give you most of the problems, the allergic reactions that cause you misery. <coughs> Kurt says, while we can't just go around cutting down trees to cut down on allergies, you can control what's planted on your property. Pick your plants that you like to enjoy your backyard. So I just learned from Kurt that the more colorful the flower, the less airborne pollen it produces, and that means less allergic reactions. There are other factors to consider. Ornamental grasses can produce more windblown pollen. That's the reason why we like them, because when they're out in the environment, they're kind of blowing around and kind of give you that false impression that it's a lot cooler out because of the undulation of the, the plant. And you can buy plants based on another little known factor. Female trees produce less pollen than male trees. <laughs> Get the female plant because it has less pollen. Yes, that's true. However, the tree across the street, the tree in your neighbor's backyard, the tree next door or the plant next door is going to have that windblown pollen. Kurt cautions, there will always be pollen spreading in the air and aggravating those allergies. So when it comes to your home, you can try to lessen pollen's impact, but make sure you'll also be happy with your choice. Just get the right plant for you that makes you happy. And remember, right plant for the right location. So if it has a lot of sun, these are already put out in the sunlight for you, so you know automatically these like full sun. They, they take the guesswork out of it, so this would be a great plant uh, to... For the summer. For the summer, to decorate your backyard and spruce it up and attract bees and butterflies. Oh, bees and butterflies, <laughs> I love it. Wabash in the Heights was an awesome place. I learned a lot about the plants, but I will say overall, it is the big trees. It's the live oak that will do it. So mm -hmm. yeah, the plus or minus a little pollen in your yard, but it's those big trees all around town that you can't really escape. Yeah. So 